We're on the scene here in Stokes County, North Carolina. It's a pretty horrific scene. Animals are suffering from extreme neglect and cruelty. We're responding to a request for assistance from the county sheriff here about a property that has been an ongoing problem in this community. It's a combination of uh, breeding and hoarding to try and create some type of new breed. We've got a lot of dogs on this property. They are spread out over a wide area. Dogs outside on chains, most of them in horrible matted conditions like this poor dog here. Been chained outside with no shelter, exposed to the elements, extreme heat. There's flash flood warnings for this evening. And these dogs and other animals out here have no shelter at all. So almost all of the dogs in this property are chained. Most of them are on stakes in the ground with very little human interaction. It's just not acceptable. Everybody here is underweight. If they have water at all, it's just a green old bucket that catches rain when it rains. It is the worst matting I've ever seen on a large dog, covering their whole body. It is really pathetic. Just crawling with fleas. And a lot of them hardly have any fur left on them at all. They've just got such mange. The exposure, it just, it's really cool. Doing something like this, that is this big on this scale, it takes a lot of people, it takes a lot of skills, a lot of resources, but look what we can do. We could not be here without our partners and friends at the Bissell Pet Foundation. Their critical financial support has made this operation possible, and we are very grateful. Our mission is to really forge the human-animal bond, and collaborating with organizations like Animal Rescue Corps allows us to do that. Uh, we are so very grateful to be able to collaborate and really make an impact here in North Carolina. Situations like this aren't unusual in rural communities. These communities have no resources to address this type of stuff. They barely have enough resources for the people in their community and the animals kind of get pushed to the side. So that's where our resources are so valued to these departments, uh, to these police departments and sheriff departments and animal control in these rural areas because they simply don't have the resources to address these things. So we're that resource. We're that free resource. And that's what makes us unique. And supporting that, that is how you can help. So the animals today, once we get them back to our emergency shelter in Tennessee, is gonna be life-changing for them. Um, they'll be living inside, getting all the medical care that they need, um, not to mention the nutrition and just hydration. They'll learn about people and that um, the proper people will feed them every day <laughs> and take care of them. So I can't wait to get them back. Operations like this may not be happening in your backyard, but that doesn't mean you can't be a part of it. You can donate, you can share our story, you can educate people about how buying dogs online is supporting places just like this. So get the word out.